Hello. So there was a question in the group about the best activity trackers and what what's recommended as like an accurate fitness tracker. And something that I've kind of evolved in my advice for it, or those lines are really annoying, like my, my perception of fitness trackers is that like, I don't want you to obsess over every single little detail because the more that you obsess over the quantitatives, the more that you obsess over numbers, you're not allowing yourself to just see fitness and health as something that's meant to enhance your life. Like, I've been on about it in the past few posts that I've done on how I want you to focus on the quant the qualitative data, not the quantitative, like the biofeedback that I get my girls, like you girls to do. And this, this might actually go onto YouTube because it's such an important thing to realize how focusing so much on numbers, figures, quantitative stuff, and the exterior without realizing that when you focus on the interior, nourishing yourself, kind of like fertilizing a garden, working on your inner thoughts, your mindset, your skills and habits. Like I did a post on diet mindset versus skills and habits mindset. And it is probably the most important post that you can read because like, it's so easy to just go, this is like, this is the way I approach people that come to me that are really overweight. Like in the first 12, 16 weeks, if you're say like over three digit figures in your weight pretty much, or like your percentage of weight to muscle ratio is insane, then yeah, okay, I will make sure that you put in the sacrifices, you put in the extra hard work now, because you're in a point where you can utilize the marathon, not the marathon, the sprint thinking, use your motivation to like, go full balls to the wall, to drop more of that fat mass in a shorter period of time, before we start implementing more flexibility and focusing on the habits and stuff like that. But in that short time frame where I'm saying, okay, we're just gonna like, this is like really annoying. Um, focusing, even though we're focusing on dropping the weight quickly in that 12 week period, we're still developing the habits. We're still developing the structure, the routine. We're not cutting out whole food groups. We're not doing stupid bat shit. And I'm, and I still say, don't focus on numbers, on figures, on the weight, focus on like clothes wins. This is why I get so excited when you guys talk about clothes wins. Like the reason that I recommend fitness trackers is because you can track your heart rate. It's not entirely accurate, but it's close enough. And having that reminder, just like having this or anything on your wrist is like a physical reminder especially for those of you in sedentary jobs. Okay, I need to get up and move now. So people that come to me that are really sedentary and they need that physical reminder to get up and go, there are fitness trackers that send you a reminder to actually get up and go. So you're not sitting all day. Or if you haven't hit a certain amount of steps, it's not it's not accurate. But say you usually get like 2,000, 3,000 steps in a day, getting at least double that and hitting 6,000 is better than sticking to that 3,000 just for the sake of like moving your body is actually really beneficial for you. Like cardiovascular health. And one thing that I do like to implement is post weights cardio. Like I like actually implementing cardio in a way that it's going to benefit your cardiovascular health, but just getting steps in general is better than just sitting like sedentary. There are so many studies out there that link cardiovascular exercise or walking or anything of that nature, aerobic work, to better mental gains, better brain focus, better lifespans, better everything. It's not just health markers, like your mind, your cognition, it can offset dementia. It is so beneficial to get the oxygen moving around your body. Like if you just see cardio as a way to burn fat or go the fuck cardio mentality, you're really digging yourself a massive hole of rubbish. Like cardiovascular, like cardio should just not be like your body does everything it can to not die.
it does whatever it can to survive. It's a survival mechanism. And if, like, this is why I don't like the whole band-aiding symptoms by actually figuring out the cause of certain things that you're experiencing. Because your body will do whatever it takes to be function, like, to function and to have you survive for a long period of time. And if you're, like, if something is wrong in your biochemistry, in your metabolism, in your body systems, then it will exhibit itself as a different pathology or a different out, like a different, it, it will manifest as something like a headache or a pain or you'll get certain blood markers that are abnormal, but it's probably not from, like it could easily not be from that thing entirely, but it could be from something else because say your liver's not functioning good or but I don't know, like, this is why health, like, focus on health, focus on your mindset, and the rest will follow. Because if you bought, like, there's another thing that I say with a lot of you people that are really focused on just dieting, like, just dieting and losing weight and focusing on the numbers going down is to be able to lose body fat efficiently, effectively, and be able to sustain it and maintain it for life. You need to make sure that you actually have a place to cut from. So if you're coming to me and you're hardly eating, then what the hell am I going to work with? Like the goal when you first sign, like the goal when you first sign up to any sort of nutritional plan, if your health comes first, if your life span comes first, if living a long, healthy life is something you want to do and you don't just want to like dig a grave earlier, then the first thing you should be trying to do is seeing, okay, where can I have my calories, where can I have my life set set, where I'm not gaining crazy amounts of body fat, but maintaining a relative light, like a relative body composition, getting stronger, focusing on performance and building up the capacity to then enter a diet later on because we're brought up, we're brought up in a world where it's just diet, 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 diet. Now back to the activity tracker question, which is what I was focusing on to start with is it's a good reminder on your wrist to get up and go walking. It's a good reminder for your, like, it tracks your heart rate. Like, your heart rate can say so much. Your waking heart rate, your resting heart rate, the your recovery heart rate when you're doing hard exercise versus, like, how long it takes you to get back to a normal heart rate. Like, I've had a few girls track that that are pretty advanced in the, like, in the programming aspect. Like, I put them through conditioning workouts. I put them through different styles of training where they tracked their highest and their lowest heart rates, stuff like that. And I don't know. It's like get to a place where you're just happy doing what you're doing and you're just focused on progress and you love seeing your results. You love getting stronger in the gym. You love seeing the way that your program just evolves in front of you, the way that different things are there, like, for me, when I was getting through the initial stages stages of my training, my focus every single session was to improve on what I was doing all the time because there was always something, like I would always feel my lifts and there was always something I needed to improve on. And going in with that mentality of improving it and then getting more efficient at it, getting more effective at it, feeling it better, and then increasing the weight on it and all the reps or just something to come from within is what kept me going and especially when you're just starting out you can continue to adapt on the same type of exercise system like there are times when I had pretty much the same programming for 12 to 16 weeks and then I started like plateauing a little on certain things so then I started changing it up a little but it was pretty much the same thing and your body will adapt as much as you give it a stimulus to adapt as much as you focus on improving yourself every time but the key to everything is consistency. Consistency is key. And if you're not being consistent, you're not being accountable to the plan, I don't know what I don't know when I'm programming. So if you're not sticking to a plan or you're skipping things here and there, I'm not going to know. The only reason I know is if I expect certain things to have gotten better and they haven't, it's like, okay, have you been doing your drills? Have you been doing your breathing work? Or if I see things that are just crazy advanced, it's like, okay, you've been doing your drills, haven't you? But yeah. I guess that's just a ramble about fitness trackers, about focusing on the qualitatives. Yes, at the right word. They both sound and look the same. But if you have any other questions on activity trackers or whatever else, just like comment below 
and I'll answer them. It's just I wanted to cover a few topics in one just because I want you to know that when you do start out, I treat it like a Mario game. I don't play Mario, so I'm hoping that's right, but like a Spyro game because I used to play Spyro. Like you start at a certain level and you need to advance, you need to earn your wings pretty much. Like you start off with little flexibility, like you need to stick to things to a T so I can understand how your body responds. And then when it comes to like the diet, for example, I don't change things unless things need to be changed. Same with programming. I never change things unless they need to be changed. If you demand changes, then it's going to be at your peril because you need to earn the change. If I just keep changing things, your body's not going to adapt and you're going to see the changes you want to see. So that's where enjoying the process comes in. And you can't really grow that far from the basics except knowing what works for you. Like, there are some girls here that don't squat whatsoever. There are some girls here that pretty much only squat, Jan. <laughs> and, it like, it's working for them and we're building up what needs to be built up on. But at the same time, you need to let go of your ego and what you know as well because, like, I might not put, like, a pinnacle, like, squat at the start of an exercise and actually make it the last exercise. Don't, like, it's like, why are you making a pinnacle exercise the last exercise on a program? Some certain things have madness and mechanisms behind it. Like, I have purpose behind everything. If you don't understand it, I'll either explain it to you or say, cause I will explain after the fact. So once you start going through the program, experiencing it for, like, three, four, five weeks, I'll be like, that's why I put it in there, because now you're seeing the changes, and you can physically say, oh, okay, so that's why it's there, which is what I actually prefer. Like, I prefer you to experience it before the placebo me telling you what you're supposed to expect kind of thing. So, yeah. I forgot what that tangent was off. But I don't know what I don't know. And I love the fact that you guys are just killing it, taking videos. And, yeah. Leave the comments below if there's anything you want me to touch on.